So I want to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that's actually shoot. It's been done a lot, but shoot my bow against a crossbow. But everybody has shot with a free-handed crossbow, and I'm going to shoot with a bench-rested crossbow and make it harder on myself. Why? Because I just that's just the way that I do it. So I got the 10-point crossbow down here at 100 yards. The Athens Elevate. And I got a target face down here at the target at 100 yards. And I'm gonna do a two shot challenge, five shots, and keep scoring and see if we can actually beat the crossbow. Okay, the first couple shots are gonna be with the crossbow. And I'm really gonna try to hit this target good. Mm. That was unexpected. I really thought that would have went differently, been trusted. <sighs> Mine was right up there with it. I've noticed a big thing is, is whenever my heart beats, that, uh, that crossbow just keeps bumping up. All right. Now time for the elevate. If I can find my dead gum, whatever done. There it is. I need to fix that. Turn that string around for that peep. I don't know where that hit. I can definitely, definitely with a bow, with that crossbow, with it, everything zoomed in, my heartbeat makes a big difference. Wow, oh, the compound, it don't. All right, let's go check it out. It's funny, I got just about the same exact score and hit about the same exact spot, just opposite of each other with these. So I'll probably take about a yard off of it. So crossbow, we have seven and a five. And then we have a seven and a six for the bow. That had a good line, but my God, was the wind blowing. That wind ain't no fun. Not again. The grouping was awesome with the crossbow. I'm just a little high and right and not too bad grouping. I need to make a couple clicks over with the bow. But we got crossbow with five and five and then a seven and an eight for the Athens. Going back with crossbow first this time and I made a couple adjustments to it. That's kind of weird. I guess it's because the temperature changed. Cables might need some tweaking on it. A little bit to the, I moved a little too much. Just to the other side. Let's 
so we got for the group and we got a seven and a seven and I adjust that and then I adjusted my bow and we got a seven and an eight so we'll go back and readjust those but for now that is crossbow seven and seven and then the elevate is a seven and an eight again with a seven and an eight high on that elevate so we'll fix that but we got a seven and an eight and then we got a nine and an eight for the crossbow wind was pushing this a lot of wind pushing hard over from left to right and that makes a di big difference with these fat fat arrows so we got a nine and an eight for the crossbow and a seven and an eight for the elevate Last shot. You know that this is about 400 feet per second. That wind is outrageous. Oh, let that wind blew that one like crazy. All right, so I moved it a half a yard. Let's see what difference that makes. So that one I bubbled over a little bit too much and that one was about a 15 mile, 10 mile per hour wind gust. And that just took that. But we got in the nine and then we got an eight and it consistently, probably need to bump that wrist over just a little bit. I'm probably got a little bit of a tear right, just slight enough at 100 yards to where it's hitting just a little bit off. So probably one click uh, to the right on that rest would probably fix that. So after adding the total up, we have a total for five shots being 75 with the elevate and a 63 with the bench rested 10 point, which, so we actually beat it. And it shot fairly decent for hunting bow. We could have shot better. Uh, the 10 point, I could play around with it and shoot better, so we'll have to do this comparison another time and get everything lined out uh, the best with both of them and really just drive, try to drive tax and make a new video with that. But hope you all like this video, guys. I'll see you on the next one.